buzzing, buzzing, and we're humming, humming, and we're loving, loving all day. Buzzing, buzzing, and we're humming, humming, and we're loving, loving. I'm kidding, I'm not going to college yet. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I am whispering because my whole family is asleep. It is around 6 a.m., and I'm leaving to go to the University of Wisconsin Madison for a tour. I am planning on going back to bed in the car. If that doesn't happen, I will be very University and it's not an open house or anything, it's just a tour and then I also have a housing tour so I'm doing both of those apparently I have to schedule the housing one separately so I'm going to do that and yeah I will see you in Wisconsin <laughs> admissions part of the tour and then we have the housing tour scheduled so we're walking through that right now and there wasn't people by me but now there is so this is getting kind of awkward but we got lunch and we got tea and I had to get an extra paper straw because it's already disintegrated I also got a t-shirt okay so we're walking to the place where we have to meet for the housing tour and it takes 13 minutes and this place is very hilly so we're walking up these hills. There was like a statue of a badger and there's like the hole cut out of it, you know those things? And she goes, Lily! And starts trying to get me to take a picture with this thing and everybody else is silent.
Hi guys, the last time you saw me, I was on my way home from Wisconsin. I am obviously home now, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about my opinion and experience with this trip and school. So I'm going to start with the drive. If you live by me, it was not an easy drive. I don't know if it's just that day, but there was a ton of tolls and we left at 6 a.m. and right when we got on the highway it was like stopped traffic and so it took an hour and a half longer than it was supposed to take so that wasn't the best but it was okay like we weren't late or anything once we actually got into madison it was easy it was also beautiful you're in the middle of two bodies of water and you look out one window and see a lake with the city and then you look out this window and see another lake and it is gorgeous the city around the school was really nice it wasn't a bad area at all and there was one street i think it's called state Tr state street in the middle of the university and if you keep going all the way down it you get to the state capitol building so it was really good for especially what i want to do with like internships and stuff like that but it was huge my school is tiny they said there was 7,000 freshmen last year. There's 400 people in my whole school. So I am so not used to that, but I think I could get used to it. I just would have to be in that situation more. The actual academic part of it though was really good. They have a lot of the majors that I want. They have all the majors that I'm considering and their schools are really good. I really liked the school it's just far away and i wouldn't because i want to be on the dance team so i have, would have games on saturdays so i can't come home on sundays and i'm realizing that there's some things that i would like want to come home to so i don't know if i want to go that far away anymore i'm definitely gonna apply there though because i like it um enough to apply so I think I just have to get more comfortable mostly. I'm just mostly talking about the size of the campus and stuff because obviously I don't know what you guys are looking to go to school for so I can't really say anything about if it would be a good fit for you because I can't, I just don't know what you're looking for but I know if you come from a small school like me you can relate to my feelings about it being so big, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing a ton of tours in October, so make sure to stay tuned to my channel to see a lot more college-related things. I will see you later. Peace.